Welcome back to Photos with Yanni. It's been a minute and I'm sorry about that, but I learned something new and I can't wait to share it with you guys. So we're gonna go from this picture. No, so we're gonna go from this picture to this. And it's only gonna take us five minutes and a little bit of Photoshop. A lot of people have asked me that request, how did I edit? And uh, I decided to make a very small tutorial to help you out on how it's done. I've always loved long exposure in photography. That's something that really drew me in. So this is an excellent way to get some really, really abstract aesthetic to your images. And it doesn't take anything, it doesn't take much. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into Photoshop. So here we are at Photoshop. This is our initial image. And this is gonna be a test way to show you how, it's, how I got that result that I showed you earlier. But the very first thing we're gonna do is make sure that the image that you're using is the highest resolution image possible. I think I need to do a video with my workflow, but what I like to do is from raw files, go to TIFF files to do my final edit, and then I export them into JPEGs. So this is a TIFF file that we're working with. So the very first thing we're gonna do is make sure we duplicate the background. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a duplicate layer from the background beautiful the very first till to, now as you can see in this image right here is there is a element right in the middle that I want which is gonna be the boat and the reflection everything else is an added bonus I want to keep the same hues same tones same highlights and everything else that's going on but I want this part of the image to be to, to stand out so how do we do this? So first thing we're gonna do is zoom it up a little bit. All right, now we're gonna use the magnetic lasso tool. And this is a tool that is gonna do most of the job for us. So little by little, we're gonna go ahead and do an outline of what we're trying to separate. Mind you, all this stuff is we're trying to cut it out of the image. Mind you, this is the layer that we want to isolate. And if you can see, the magnetic lasso tool does all the work for us. There we go, cute doggy. Now, like I said earlier, it's really important to also grab the reflection. I'm gonna go ahead and let the magnetic lasso tool do most of the work. We're gonna go back to it because there's parts of the image that we don't want to use as of right now, I want to use all that stuff. As you can see right now, we have portions of our image that we need to cut out or portions of our element that we need to cut out. So we're gonna go back in here and get this big blob out from our selection. And then I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more because I really, really wanna get these little pieces out. That's not gonna be part of our selection. This is the part that takes the longest. The more thorough we are with our image, the, more, the best blending we're gonna be able to achieve Now, this is the only part that's a little bit of a pain in the neck. Uh, see, am I missing anything? Yep, I sure am. Mm, there we go. I think the top part is pretty much done. No, it's not. Again, this is the magnetic lasso tool. So everything that we did at the top part of the image, we're gonna do at the bottom. 
So we don't want that ugly stuff to be part of our reflection. Mind you, Photoshop is an incredible tool. Uh, I get this. And our reflection is a little bit wonky. It's quite all right. I think we're good. I think we're good. So now, with our selection right here, we're going to go ahead and right click on it and feather it. And we're gonna do a feather of three. That's gonna smoothen out the edges a little bit. And then I'm gonna right click here and we're gonna do a layer via copy. And now we have a brand new layer with what we cut out, see? What we've isolated, as you can see right there. Now we're gonna go back to the second layer. We're gonna use the patch tool. And you wanna be able to patch as close as you possibly can to the original. Just want to do a general outline of it. That shows you how much of a steady hand I have. So I want to keep it close, but you don't have to, but it's just me being, you know, me. All right. Delete, and now as you can see, this part of the image is gone. So, now with the middle layer selected, this is where the magic comes in. We're gonna go ahead and, oh, let me fit the screen. Okay, beautiful. With the middle layer selected, we're gonna go ahead and go to Filter, Blur Gallery, Path Blur. Ah, you can see we're gonna create arrows towards the direction of our blur. I like to do several arrows, one right here. From the top, what we can do is take another one and bend it a little bit. But as you see, it looks nothing like the final result. So how do we get that? The last step that we need to do is go to the speed and crank it up to 500%. Boom. Look at that. I also like to do one more right here to really drive home the motion and how it's done. Now, personally, I like to overdo it, but once we're happy and satisfied with the end result, we hit OK. It's gonna take a second. This should be a progress bar. And by the time it's done, we should have our final result. Come on. There we go. Now with the middle layer selected again, because it's so abstract, we can go crazy. Filter, camera row filter, and now we can really push, make it a little bit brighter, contrasting, bring the highlights down, shadows up, blacks down, whites up, increase our texture, increase our clarity, increase our dehaze. The more aggressive you are with it, increase our vibrance and our saturation. It's abstract, you can do whatever you want with it. So I like how it looks and pressing OK, this is the final result of the image. So we're getting, we have a very nice motion right here. And just like that, we have a very good and abstract image. So that was simple, wasn't it? If you have any question that you want me to tackle, any photography questions, drop them below at the comments. If there is one method, one procedure, or one style of editing that you would like to see have done, let me know. I'll be more than happy to make a quick video for you. Again, this is Yanni with Photos with Yanni, and I'll see you next time.